Hello everyone, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. We are gonna be taking a look at what it is that you need to know to book a private session with me. All of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. This is Taurus versus Sagittarius. Let's get started. Spirit, please provide me with what's going on with Sag and then we're gonna take a look at how Sag is feeling about Taurus. Talk to me about what's going on with Sag right now. Talk to me about Sagittarius. Spirit, what's going on with Sag? What's going on with fire sign Sagittarius? Talk to me about what's going on with Sag. So Sag, this seems like something difficult for you. And I don't know what that is in your life. But it seems like you're under a lot of pressure, a lot of stress, and everything is just starting to probably cloud your judgment a little bit. You could be questioning yourself as something seems like an uphill battle for you with fire energy coming out there. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me more about what Sag may be experiencing in the current moment. Spirit, talk to me about Sagittarius. All right, so we have the Hermit coming out here. There's something that you are keeping to yourself. You're trying to be quiet about whatever it is that's stressing you out, okay? And this is something that um, you and I always talk about, Sagittarius, where um, there's something here that cannot be hidden any longer. And you have to find a way to talk about it so that you can alleviate your situation and yourself, okay? I feel like your mental health is also being triggered by whatever this 10 of wands situation is, okay? Now, Spirit, talk to me about how Sag feels in reference to Taurus. How does Sagittarius feel about Taurus? Talk to me about how Sagittarius is feeling when it comes to Taurus, please. Talk to me about how Sag is feeling when it comes to Taurus. All right, so the Queen of Cups energy, intuitively, it's like you know what's going on with Taurus, but you may not want to accept it. There's something that you don't want to accept when it comes to Taurus, okay? It's like you already know what's up, all right? Um, you also already know why everything is happening the way that it is. Um, it has you in your feelings. I feel like you think of Taurus often, and you do that in private, because the hermit is present. So not everyone knows that you watch this reading, right? Or that you came here. Thank you for the view. I appreciate it. But at the same time, we need you to be honest with the process and what's going on right now. Because you are triggering yourself, okay? That's what's happening. You have to release yourself from some pattern that you have, a behavior or a way of thinking that does not seem to be working out for you in the present moment. Tell me more, okay? Tell me more about how Sag feels when it comes to Taurus. So Sagittarius is in this energy of feeling like Taurus has stopped. Taurus stopped something, okay? Um, there's no movement. There's no real communication. Taurus seems to be going in a different direction is the way that you feel. You don't want that to happen. Deep down inside, you don't, okay? And please keep in mind that these readings are for Taurians and Sagittarians who are primarily romantically involved or that have those type of feelings for each other, okay? Now, I'm seeing here that you feel that Taurus is not doing something anymore, okay? Tell me more. 
the magician. So you feel like Taurus is up to something new. You're probably right, okay? Some of you believe that Taurus has like a new person. You might be right about that, you know? Um, we have the Six of Pentacles. You still want to get on the right page with Taurus. So I don't know what's going on here or why you feel like you need to be in hermit mode, just watching instead of acting. The more you waste time, the more nothing is going to happen. Taurus has already stopped moving towards you and you're still in this procrastination, whatever that is for you. Whether the procrastination is an event, a person, a situation, a dynamic, right? Now, tell me more about how Taurus is feeling now. Now we're going to cross over. How does Taurus feel? Yeah, look at that. It just popped out of the deck. <laughs> Taurus is in this energy of leaving, walking away. Some Taurians have already left with the Eight of Cups energy. Talk to me about this Eight of Cups when it comes to how Taurus feels. Yeah, it's like Taurus feels that Sagittarius still wants to be with Taurus, okay? Taurus knows that, all right? So this is not something that Sagittarius can be evasive about, especially if, you know, Taurus is a highly intuitive individual. Taurus is aware that Sagittarius still wants to make an offer, okay? This is a Sagittarius card, and it is looking at the Eight of Cups, the person who is walking away, okay? Look at that. Now, tell me more. Talk to me about Taurus, please. Look, Taurus feels that Sagittarius wants to have justice, that Sag wants to have peace with Taurus, okay? With the justice card coming out there. However, Taurus feels like Sag has not made enough effort, okay? To make anything right or anything better. So therefore, Taurus continues to walk away, all right? You know, Taurus feels like this is coming to an end. It's coming to a close. It's over. For some of you, you're not even in contact with this Sagittarius. You know, you're just like, oh, well, that's a chapter in my life. That's done. It's over, you know? That's how Taurus feels. It's like, no mas. <laughs> no, you know? Tell me more about how Taurus is feeling. Tell me more. How is Taurus feeling? Taurus is doing just fine in the present moment, you know. And I feel like, unfortunately, Sagittarius is not a part of this happiness anymore, okay? Taurus found another way to make themselves happy. And, you know... Taurus does not struggle with having to be alone. Taurus does not need a group of people around them. Taurus knows how to do things independently, you know. Taurus does not need a crowd, does not need people cheering them on to do anything, okay? And I feel like Taurus found a way independently to make themselves happy in the present moment, okay? It's like Taurus doesn't even want to think about Sagittarius, honestly. That's what it feels like. So I don't know what you did to Taurus. Sagittarius, I just don't know. And, you know, this is a really specific reading for those who are really involved with each other. So it's not going to resonate for all of you because the message is for some of you, you know, um, for private sessions. That's what we get into your personal situation, but like this is, you know, for a group of you. Now, what's the outcome between these two? What's the outcome here? 
the outcome, you know, Taurus is protecting what they have. So I don't see Taurus giving anything away, Sag. With that Four of Pentacles, I don't see that. Now, tell me more, you know, what is Sag going to do? Because a Sagittarius likes to plan behind the scenes, okay, and then pop up. So we know that about Sag. So it's not like we can sleep on a Sagittarius because they're always, you know, behind the scenes, scripting it out and, you know, and then all of a sudden. So because Taurus knows Sag that well, you know, it's going to be very difficult to, to have an impression on Taurus if that's what Sagittarius is trying to do, okay? Tell me more. The Four of Swords, what else is going to happen here? The Four of Swords, tell me more about this. Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah. Yeah, look at Sag. You at the bottom of the deck. I know you want Taurus, fam. Come on. These cards in me are homies, like. <laughs> so the four of cups, <clears throat> right? You keep thinking about Taurus. This is what this is telling me. It just keeps saying it over and over again. You know, you're watching it. You're here. The energy is all over the place, but you're fighting it. You're fighting with yourself about the truth, whatever that is, okay? Um, and maybe there are some things about yourself that you need to control. Um, you know, a lot of people like to say that you're impulsive. Just like a lot of people like to say that Taurus has anger issues and that Taurus is crazy, and Taurus, right? So then you know how they like to say about your sign that you're impulsive and you don't think before you speak and all of those things. Well, you know, as a Torian, I have learned how to not get so disturbed by certain things anymore so that I can control my anger, right? But I feel like you know that you're impulsive and you constantly jump into these random situations and you still don't do anything to rectify that. I feel like you just say, that's who I am and, and I can't change. You know, you'll never change your story if you keep behaving the same way. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus and Sagittarius. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.